Zwom Bemo. Hey everyone, and welcome to another Bemo Creative Fact About Fiction video. So this one is about Ghidorah. King Ghidorah, also known as Monster Zero, is a three-headed dragon kaiju, widely considered Godzilla's arch enemy, and first appeared in the 1964 Godzilla film Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, where he arrives on Earth inside a meteorite to destroy the planet like he did Venus, which was dubbed Mars in the American version of the film. He was driven off by Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra, but returned in Invasion of Astro Monster as a pawn of the Xylians in their invasion of Earth along with Godzilla and Rodan, who were under the invader's mind control, of course, but a group of people managed to sever the alien's hold on those two monsters. And of course, Godzilla and Rodan teamed up against Ghidorah at that point, sending him back into the void of outer space. In Godzilla vs. Gigan, King Ghidorah was under the control of the M Space Hunter Nebula aliens alongside Gigan to assault the Earth. King Ghidorah was beaten by Godzilla and Angiris and retreated back into outer space. In Zone Fighter, King Ghidorah was one of the Goraga's terror beasts, fought with Zone Fighter twice, managed to escape with his life again. In the chronologically final film of the Shawa series, Destroy All Monsters, King Ghidorah was unleashed by the Kilax. In a final attempt to defend their base from Godzilla and the other Earth monsters, only to be killed in battle by the combined might of all of them, Toho brought Ghidorah back for the Heisei series in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, where he was now the pawn of time-traveling terrorists and the result of three genetically engineered creatures called Dorats being fused together by a hydrogen bomb explosion. That has got to be the weirdest um, origin story of Ghidorah up to that point. Uh, the Futurians unleashed Ghidorah in Japan, demanding for the nation's surrender, but their plot was interrupted when, of course, Godzilla appeared and battled Ghidorah. After destroying the Futurians' time machine, Godzilla decapitates Ghidorah's middle head and shreds the wings, leaving the creature comatose in the ocean. It was basically slowly regenerating. A uh, defector from the Futurians named Emi Kano, I believe it was, salvaged King Ghidorah's remains in the future as the uh, cybernetic Mecha King Ghidorah, which has a middle head that's made of metal and the wings are made of metal. Uh, then brought him back to the present to battle Godzilla. King Ghidorah was later featured as the antagonist in Rebirth of Mothra 3 and was a malevolent space monster seeking to feed off of the forces of humans. Ghidorah uh, fought and nearly killed Mothra Leo, who traveled back in time to the Cretaceous period to destroy Ghidorah when it was very young and smaller. After killing the Cretaceous Ghidorah, Leo returns to the present to find King Ghidorah alive and well. So I don't know why he went to the past. I really don't get that part of that movie, but anyway. Uh, Leo then transformed into his most powerful form, which is the armored Mothra, and finally destroys Ghidorah. And of course, Ghidorah appeared in many comics, games, and movies to include the 2019 movie, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So the name Ghidorah comes from uh, the Japanese word for Hydra, which is Hidora, which sounds very similar to the Russian pronunciation of Hydra, which is Gidre. Ghidorah's design was mostly created by Aiji Tsuburaya based on a minimal description in the script. You won't believe how simple this description was. It says, uh, it has three heads, two tails, and a voice like a bell. 
and he designed Ghidorah based on that description. Pretty creative guy. In the Shawa era, King Ghidorah's cackling roar was produced by an early electone electronic organ. King Ghidorah's multiple heads were primarily inspired by Yamata no Orochi, an eight-headed dragon from Japanese mythology that had been featured in the 1959 Toho film, The Three Treasures. While King Ghidorah is most commonly seen as a subservient ally of numerous alien races, he does act under his own free will on several occasions, and his goal is always planetary destruction or domination. And King Ghidorah has several different forms across media, and each has its own powers and abilities. Ghidorah can produce hurricane force winds by flapping his wings, and can fly at Mach 3 like most other flying kaiju, and even faster in space by enhancing himself and encasing himself in a meteorite or a diamond-like structure, and can even fly without both of his wings by using zero gravity fields, which is how he flies in the first place. He just uses his wings to guide himself. Ghidorah's most famous ability is the golden lightning bolts, gravity beams they're called. He spits from his three mouths. Now what most people don't know is that these gravity beams can be used to lift stones, rocks, cars, buildings, and fling them directly at other kaiju. Ghidorah uses his necks to constrict kaiju and to strangle them, and he also wraps his uh, necks around other kaiju because Ghidorah, when he's making contact with a kaiju for a certain period of time, can siphon energy from other living things. He can also concentrate and make a, like a dome out of, it first looks like it's energy, but then it, it transforms into like a skin that has tentacles on it to protect itself that also steals energy from anything that gets close. People go up to investigate that dome and these tentacles shoot out and grab them and just absorb them into the dome and Ghidorah gets energy from that. He is extremely durable and resistant to damage, uh, spits fireballs at times, uh, regenerates if given enough time. It's a very slow regeneration, emits a force field barrier, shoots lightning from his wings and uses lightning to teleport and has a dominance mind control power over other kaiju and has uh, an electric bite and many more powers. So what do you think of Ghidorah? Leave a comment below. Okay, that is going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to Be More Creative for more fact about fiction videos. Thanks so much.